Um, <clears throat> part of the entrepreneurial journey, though, is making sure that you are an entrepreneur. Um, a lot of people, a lot of time, well, I, I know that Marquette does a lot of stuff, but part of this week uh, with the Kaufman Institute. Um, I think they're Ohio based, is that right? Where's Tina? Is that right? Yeah. So they asked me two years ago to teach the fast track entrepreneurship program out of the Kaufman Institute. And we actually sort of modified it to Entrepreneurs Boot Camp uh, is what we called this thing. And, and I taught this boot camp for entrepreneurs. But what was really interesting was I had to start the first week, the first session off with, are you really an entrepreneur? Do you actually know what you're signing up for and are you willing to do what it takes? Do you recognize the lifestyle? Do you have the personality traits? And it was interesting because out of that class, two people at the end of the first session said, I'm going back to my job. Uh, they were not prepared to be an entrepreneur. They didn't think about what it takes. Every decision in life has choices, pros and cons. It is not right or wrong. I personally, corporate America did not like me. It turns out it was mutual. We had a pretty nasty divorce. Um, I did not get along. Uh, it, I, I'm, it is absolutely not my intent to judge. It just didn't fit me. So I have friends that, that have had the same job for 20 years in corporate America. Everybody does what works for them. So this isn't about right or wrong, but you have to stop and think about what are you signing up for to be an entrepreneur, and is it something you're really, gonna, are you really willing to do before you change your life to do it? Um, I put a few of the things <laughs> on there. Uh, hard work. Why on earth would any customer do business with your little unknown startup unless you were faster, better, right, more responsive? You better deliver something the big guys can't or you can't win. And in order to do that, you will have to work hard. So I know some people, it's funny now because sometimes you, I go home at Thanksgiving and my brother-in-law is an example, said, oh, Jeff's so lucky, right? I've sold a couple companies, Priceline went public. So that guy's really lucky. And I sit there and think, lucky that I put in eight zillion hours, right? Lucky that I was working while everybody else was sleeping. If that's lucky, I'll take it, okay? But I was willing to do what I had to do uh, and there's trade-offs. Life is full of trade-offs. You don't get, if you don't risk big, you don't win big. And if you don't work hard, you're probably not going to win big either.